Neil Battaglia, SaxStation.com. All right, so I've been a fan of Maceo Parker for a long time. One of the early albums that I listened to quite a bit as I was growing up was actually Roots Revisited. And Maceo just had a really interesting life. He wrote his autobiography called 98% Funky Stuff, which is a pretty interesting book. And if you've seen that, that one movie about James Brown, you might find that Maceo Park in the movie is very different than the real Maceo Parker. For example, in the movie, this character liked to swear a lot. He was kind of in a certain way. In real life, Maceo Parker wasn't like that. Yeah. All right, so I want to show you a line from Maceo Parker that's on that album, Roots Revisited. So I'm going to play it on alto sax because while Maceo did play some tenor sax and some other saxophones, I think he mostly played alto sax. That's kind of what be he became known for. So it's going to start on the note C on alto sax, and you're going to play C, D, E. So three notes, then two notes. G, A. Then you're going to hit that A again. Going down, you play E, and then C. Then you play A, then C. After that C, you're going to play something different than you might usually play. You're going to play what's like a middle C, but you're going to use the fingering for low C. And you can press the octave key if you want to. You might as well. So you're going to play C, C with the octave key and the low fingering. And then you're going to alternate between those two. So C, 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 C. But going back between the regular fingering and the harmonic fingering with the low C fingering and the octave key. So let me know what you think of this lesson, whether you want to learn more lines like this, more funky, more like the blues lines that I've taught, more bebop, more some other style. I could basically kind of branch out into any style you're interested in. I play a few different styles of music myself, and some of my favorite saxophone players are Stanley Turrentine, Joe Henderson, Maceo Parker, Stan Getz, some different people. But I'm always interested in actually learning different things and different styles. So let me know what you think and let me know what you're interested in. And go to saxstation.com if you want to check out more of what I've done, see more videos, see the classes I've made, and learn how to speak saxophone.